guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Monique, and today I'm going to show you how I do my own DIY micro beaded hair extensions. It is super easy, super affordable, and I can't wait to share it with you. The hair extensions that I used were old Bellamy hair extensions that were actually clip-ins, so I did have to go through the work of cutting them and creating the tip for the micro beaded hair extensions. So if you guys have old hair extensions and you want to kind of recycle them the same way that I did, keep on watching because I'm going to show you how you can make the tips for the hair extensions. If you purchase the hair extensions that already have the tips, then you can go ahead and fast forward to the installation part of this video, and that will be at this timestamp right here. If you're interested in using all of the same supplies that I purchased, all of the Amazon affiliate links will be linked in the description box below. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to comment, and I'll be more than happy to help you out. So if you want to learn how to do these micro beaded hair extensions at home, keep on watching. So first you're going to jump in with everything you're going to need. If you're going to be creating the eye tips, I highly suggest purchasing an inexpensive straightener or using an old one that you already have because as you can see here, this straightener will be specifically for melting the glue and creating your hair extension eye tips. Next you're going to need the hair extension glue bond beads. This is what we're going to melt on the straightener to create the eye tips on our hair. Next up, you're going to need silicone micro links. This is what we're going to use to attach the hair extension to our hair. Make sure to pick up the color that best matches your hair. You're also going to need a loop threader. This is what we're going to use to put our natural hair through the micro bead links. Be sure to have some clips or some hair ties handy because they will be needed once we start dividing up our hair. You'll also need some hair extension pliers. This is what we're going to use to basically squish the micro links to connect our hair and our extensions. Last but not least, your hair. So these are the eye tips that I did last time and I definitely have to redo them. So that's what we're going to do today. But if you already have hair extensions with the eye tips, please go ahead and fast forward to the installation part of the video. If you're going to be making the eye tips, the first thing you're going to want to do is put the little glue bond onto the straightener so it can begin to melt. As a little trick, I like to close the straightener shut so it can kind of melt it a little bit faster. Once the glue is on nice and gooey, you want to run your hair extension through the straightener, but just the tip. <laughs> um, so just run it through a couple of times making sure that the glue is getting in all the hair. Once you've done that, you want to give the hair some time to cool because that glue is super hot. Feel free to trim off any excess hair that's poking out. And then once it's cool enough, you're going to want to twist and sort of try to get it as tight and as small as you possibly can. I am so sorry that I am not in frame sometimes. This is a really hard video <laughs> to film and I will try to be better next time. I hope that you guys can still get the gist. All you're doing is twisting the tip. Now you're just going to repeat that same process over and over and over again until all of your hair extensions are done. I'm not going to lie, this is tedious and it takes a while and you want to be careful not to burn yourself, but it's definitely worth it. In my area, these type of hair extensions and having them installed can cost anywhere from $300 to thousands, which is crazy, but I don't have that kind of money in my budget <laughs> to spend on hair, so I am super happy that I learned how to do this because I just love the full hair look, and having the micro beaded hair extensions is so easy because it feels literally like your own real hair. And this is our final product. Now they are officially ready to be installed. For the installation part of the video, you're going to need a comb or something to separate your hair, the micro bead links, and the hair threader. You're going to put a bunch of the micro links into the hair threader. You definitely don't want to put too, too many because you need enough space to fit your fingers through so that you can loop your hair in. Next, we're going to separate our hair. I like to start at the very bottom and work my way up. You want to make sure you leave hair on the edges and at the bottom so that you lessen the chance of your extensions peeking through and so they look more natural. So you want to start off by grabbing a little piece of hair and then sticking your fingers through, pulling the hair through. 
pushing the link up and then yanking on the hair threader. When you do that, the little link stays at the very top of your head and then you would now grab your hair extension and stick it through that micro link. Once it's in there, you want to grab your pliers and make that bad boy as flat as you possibly can. And that's it. First micro bead is done. I'm going to take you through the steps one more time. So you're going to grab a little piece of hair, stick that hair through the hair threader. And once you stick it through the hair threader, you're going to push up a micro link all the way to the very top. And once it's at the very top, you yank on the hair threader. When you do that, the link is going to stay at the top. And then you want to grab your hair extension and stick it through. Once the hair extension is in the micro link, you're going to grab your pliers and you're going to squeeze the micro link until it's as flat as it possibly can be. Then you're going to just continue the same steps until you've reached your desired look. I'll be honest with you guys, this is pretty time consuming. I think it took me about an hour, um, but it's definitely worth the results and definitely worth the savings. I put on a white shirt so you guys can see the contrast, but this is the final look. I love it because it looks super natural. Of course, when you open up your hair, you can see all of the little beads, but otherwise, nobody would ever even notice. And that's how I do my own at-home DIY micro bead hair extensions. Please give me a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you're going to be trying this out at home. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Besitos.